for example, tuberculosis testing. Right. How might, because right now it is an ordeal to test for TB. Right. How has this transformed that process, and in, in not just here, but worldwide? It's actually a great story. We um, actually goes back to the Mayo Clinic. So in 1994, I had a, a postdoc working on a test uh, for tuberculosis that would uh, go straight to sputum and amplify the drug resistance genes out of the sputum and say that it was TB and also that it was drug resistant. Mm. Uh, and when he wrote that paper up, he, um, in the discussion section, he said, you know, someday this te technology may actually make it out to where it really counts, which is in places where drug-resistant TB is more common in Africa and other places. Um, that approach finally did make it in to this format that allows us to directly detect TB and drug resistance directly from sputum in about uh, an hour to an hour and a half. That's ridiculous. So not only, okay, let me just understand this in my very, very, very sad hospitalist brain. In an hour based on a sputum sample, you can first of all diagnose TB is present, mm -hmm. second of all whether it is drug resistant TB. Yep. Using this process. Yep. I think you said it when you said in the US, that's fantastic, around the world, it's life-saving, crucial. Yep. Transformative, yeah. and so are you deploying this, or are you just oh, squirreling it all no, behind actually, the door somewhere? No, actually, it's um, it's received endorsement by the um, WHO uh, for implementation worldwide. Recommended to be used in a variety of settings. It's led to the installation of over eighteen thousand systems, um, about half of which are used for TB testing. It led to a, um, a special pricing agreement that allowed us to sell that cartridge at a low cost uh, that was subsidized for a while until we had volume sufficient to keep it at that low price on its own. And that has led to worldwide uptake of that one test. So that one test has really allowed Cephi to become a global company more than any other uh, technology. So l l let me focus on that statement for a second because this is what I've been talking about with our ZPAC for a long time, which is you can do well financially. You've become a global company. You've grown mm -hmm. based on the science that you guys have developed. You can do well financially by doing good for human beings in the world, yep. which you have done. And it's that, that intersection that is what we call Health 3.0.